Feature Engineering Feature Scaling Standardization and Normalization Feature Engineering Feature Scaling Standardization and Normalization For this part we will be using the usedcars.csv file for feature scaling and feature engineering. Import data using the pd.read underscore csv function with file path and don't forget to change slashes to opposite side. The data has three numeric columns price, age, kilometer which has different skewness and transformations. This part also has data visualizations wherein we will be using three plots histogram, box plot, and density curve. The datasets can be accessed at the blog link provided in description. Feature scaling, also known as data normalization, is the method used to standardize the range of features of data. Since the range of values of data may vary widely, it becomes a necessary step in data pre-processing while using machine learning algorithms. In scaling, you transform the data such that the features are within a specific range e.g. 0, 1. Scaling is important in the algorithms such as support vector machines, SVM, and k-nearest neighbors, KNN. The standard scaler assumes your data is normally distributed within each feature and will scale them such that the distribution is now centered around zero, with a standard deviation of one. If data is not normally distributed, this is not the best scaler to use. The min-max scaler is the probably the most famous scaling algorithm. It essentially shrinks the range such that the range is now between 0 and 1, or minus 1 to 1 if there are negative values. The min-max scaler works better for cases in which the standard scaler might not work so well. If the distribution is not Gaussian or the standard deviation is very small, the min-max scaler works better. However, it is sensitive to outliers, so if there are outliers in the data,
The Robust Scaler uses a similar method to the MinMax Scaler but it instead uses the interquartile range, Radhar than the MinMax, so that it is robust to outliers. Of course this means it is using the less of the data for scaling so it's more suitable for when there are outliers in the data. The robust scaler uses a similar method to the min-max scaler but it instead uses the interquartile range, Radhar than the min-max, so that it is robust to outliers. Of course this means it is using the less of the data for scaling so it's more suitable for when there are outliers in the data. Transformations are when you literally transform your data into something slightly different. The many reasons why you might want to transform your data include, reducing skew, normalizing your data or simply making the data easier to understand. At times, skewness is influenced by presence of outliers. There are various types of transformation methods. Some are log, SQRT, EXP, Boxcox, Power etc. The commonly used method is log transformation. Positive skewness, logarithmic transformation and square root transformation. Negative skewness, exponential, power and reciprocal transformation.
Vox-Cox transformation is a statistical technique used to remove heteroscedasticity of a variable and also make it look like more normally distributed, which represents a big deal for statisticians and economists regarding normality and homocedasticity assumptions for linear models. Vox-Cox requires the input data to be positive. Sometimes a Vox-Cox transformation provides a shift parameter to achieve this, Vox-Cox does not. Such a shift parameter is equivalent to adding a positive constant to x before calling box kicks. The box kicks function takes an argument, called lambda, that controls the type of transform to perform. Below are some common values for lambda. Lambda equals minus 1 is a reciprocal transform. Lambda equals minus 0.5 is a reciprocal square root transform. Lambda equals 0.0 is a log transform. Lambda equals 0.5 is a square root transform. Lambda equals 1.0 is no transform.